The future is open. I mean, there's, who knows what it could be. I mean, we just know one thing. It's not going to be the same as it is now. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a swimming teacher and a lifeguard. A baseball player. Uh, I don't know. I just want to be a president for some weird reason. I want to be in the military. I want to be a teacher because I like kids. These kids are so eager to be a part of of what's going on. Your uh, contributions to this class and to this school are invaluable. I think leadership is important because um, you can take it with you wherever you go. I've noticed you guys demonstrating your leadership abilities in other classrooms and also when you leave this class um, during the summertime, when you're in activities. Chris, you've talked about how you've been a leader on the basketball team as captain of your team. It just doesn't end in the classroom. I was just thinking, we don't really have, since we're not having the Valentine's Day dance, we don't have anything to do for Valentine's Day. Can we have like some kind of project? That's a great idea. Ms. Olsen really gives us a lot of trust with each other and we get to, you know, be out of class and doing different jobs for her and for the school. And that's going to be 300 building only, or? Yeah, yeah. And then Jordan can spearhead yeah. the idea of doing a summer, I guess. Can I have the blue? They show initiative, they show drive, they show organizational skills, they show money management. For next semester, they should be split into two separate action groups. I think overall, I want them to feel that they can make a difference, that they can contribute to any situation that they're in. And I've seen that, and some kids have come into the class and they've said, wow, I didn't know that kids could be in charge of this. And they are given the responsibility and they just they just come through with flying colors. It just helps you like in your life with tools and you kind of have prior experience being this class on oh yeah well, I remember back in leadership class uh, Miss Olson taught us how to you know get this going or start or finish off projects. I want to be a librarian. Um, an art teacher. <laughs> 四六五三，我家的电话则是二八二五. This class is third year Mandarin Chinese. Sean's got to first present his little presentation. He's got to do it twice. 说两次. Anyone studying Chinese is going to have a real advantage. There's a lot of government studies, the intelligence community is saying that in 15 years that China will be the second largest economy in the world. It's going to play a big part in my future because China is going to be a great industry to uh, pursue. Well, computers are great if they're reading something that's written in characters. It's uh, very intimidating. But with a computer, just touch the character with a cursor and it's instantly defined. I think for like entrepreneurship and stuff like that, it'll be pretty interesting to see what, what kind of role this language can play for us later on. We all intellectually know that the world is getting smaller and that we need to uh, work together with other cultures, countries. But learning another language, learning another culture opens students to different ways of doing things. Just being exposed to other cultures mainly, I mean, understanding their values, you don't get that anywhere else really. It just brightens your horizon. I want to be a zookeeper. I want to be a paleontologist because they dig up fossils. <laughs> I think it's very, very important for kids to understand their universe and their world. No, it's 3.45 to 8.9. So it's a total of 5.45 over 4 periods. Top of the mouse to the axis. We, we need to measure it for different lengths, so it, should, so it should be a variable. It's kind of cool to be able to do certain labs, uh, kind of hands-on approach. In this class, mostly what they're doing is problem solving. I'll pose a question. In this case, I pose the question of what happens when the pendulum swings very far instead of uh, very small angles. And they're at a level where they just go off and explore that. In general, this class helps you realize how ordinary bodies move 
Exactly. It's actually 6.6. .6. And helps you understand the general nature of the universe. And if you know the nature of something, you can manipulate it easier. Sometimes it's really interesting to think about 9.56. Just like why things happen, and it makes you think differently. I don't expect that they'll all go off and become physicists and engineers or even scientists, uh, but I do expect that they'll have a sense that the world is is complicated and yet understandable, and that they'll have had some experience looking at both its complications and the ways in which we can understand them. I am an administrative manager I'm responsible for compliance and I also manage the client associates which support the financial advisors. The teachers at Mercer Island were really special and very supportive and their interest in me really went beyond just the classroom. I was not the best student and when they saw me struggling and challenging they really got out there and did everything they could to help me achieve and believe in myself. They instilled a hard work ethic and really taught me to fight for what I wanted and stand up for my, my convictions. I want to be a doctor, an artist, and a builder. I would not be practicing medicine here in Seattle if it hadn't been for the educational experience I had in the Mercer Island school system. No question. My favorite course in high school was a humanities block. We would spend about three hours every day moving through literature and history and art all the way from ancient Egypt up through modern France. And I guess the result of that is a French lit major who's a spine surgeon. I do feel like I'm making a difference and I think I've uh, made a lot of people's lives better. I can get up and look at myself in the morning every day and feel that I did the best job I could and uh, I feel very fortunate.